Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Avatar The Last Airbender episode number 19 and 20. And these two will be the final episodes of this book or season whatever you call it. So in the previous episode uh, we <coughs> reached uh, the northern water tribe and um, a lot of things happened in episode number 18. Uh, <coughs> like there were two things that not two but three things that were happening the first thing was the whole thing with uh master was the name pa paku i think yeah uh, him being like you know saying that he won't teach katara water bending because she is a uh, female and that whole thing was happening at the same time the thing with princess ua and saka that was happening and in a completely different place another thing was parallelly happening which was uh Zuko and you know Zuko being blasted off by uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, by the bomb that the pirates used and him like you know like everyone thinks that he's dead except Prince uh, Master Iro knows it Master Iro and Zuko are now like acting together to go uh, to the <clears throat> water uh, you know northern water tribe and I don't nab the after I think that's the main goal for him so he's go like he's using Zhao in like you know for himself uh, he's kind of manipulating him in that that way so that and also the whole like you know thing with uh, Paco not trying go like not going to teach Katara water bending there was like a whole thing in her in his past and the reason for that you know like uh, the whole thing with the grandma her grandma choosing water bending instead of him and that's why like you know like he is so hell bent on not letting any of the females learn and also it's also one of the traditions of their culture so yeah and <clears throat> princess you are being engaged but she's like Saka and like you know that thing like a lot of things happened in the previous episode so let's see what this episode brings uh, finally uh, Paku has uh, you know has been convinced to uh, teach Katara water bending, and I'm guessing we're going to see some kind of training in this episode, and maybe uh, Zuko will come in, you know, with uh, the whole army, uh, Zuko and uh, Zhao, and also Iro, all that. So yeah, let's get started. This is episode number 19 of After the Last Airbender. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three. Two, one, go. Okay. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's take this off. Back. Oh, God. Ah. Uh. All right, so we're in finally in the uh, finally in the for uh, the two episodes, the last two episodes, episode number. 18 and uh, 19 and 20 so from the next week we'll be starting a completely new season or as i say book two let's see like, uh, i want to like i'm guessing that the whole thing with the fire nation is probably going to happen in these two episodes you know like them kind of with the huge fleet they're uh, marching the water tribe okay the siege of the north part one there you go so this is kind of broken up into two parts siege of the north oh they're going to okay <laughs> oh all right so, so she's strong enough to fight oh wow that's great nice Bangkok <laughs> wow she he even gave a little okay 
There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, Ang versus Katara. Yeah, Ang, let's see. Ha! <laughs> Great! <laughs> That'll work perfectly with the Fire Nation army <laughs> against her. Oh. Block of ice. Hmm. Well, yeah. <laughs> Good friend, Alpha. Oh! <laughs> there you go. They'll go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> True. Okay. <laughs> mm. Okay, let's see. Whoa, it's snowy. Oh, it's obviously cold here. No, what is that? Black? What is... Oh! Is... No, no, no. What, what is this? Oh, great. Don't eat that, Momo! What is that, suit? I think so. It must be from the smoke that the ships are... Oh no. There you go, that's suit. Oh god. Fire Nation. Yeah. <sighs> Great. Wow, great Admiral Zhao. Yeah, I'll come to bite you back. True. He's, he's going to fall hard on, the, like, you know, on his face, Zhao. It's going to fail miserably. I, I can feel it. All right. Prepare for battle. Yeah. Well, now's not the time. Uh. Damn. Oh, God. Oh no, yeah. Ah. Oh.
Okay. God damn. Okay. Oh boy. And there they are. There's the. Uh, oh boy. Ah! It starts with a fireball. Great. Oh god. Wow, they're just. Don't they have any kind of trebuchet or something? I guess not. Okay. And okay. Uh, All right. Oh, it's only one ship. What is that? Some kind of scout ship? All right, send it back. Oh, maybe not. That also works. All right, let's go. The result of your training, let's. It's only one ship. Okay. <laughs> They're breaking their own trebuchet. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, one down, I guess. Kind of. Oh. Okay. Another one. Oh, who the hell is this? Ooh. Damn, he's like a dual wielding chain hammer user or some. Ah, nice. There you go. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, who is this? Katara? Oh no, the, the waterbenders. There you go. Alright, yep, yep. There's only one ship. There's like hundreds of them. Yeah, oh god. How do you even... <laughs> okay, alright. Um, okay. Oh yeah, it's true. Oh God. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. What? Why? Okay. Oh, he he. Ha! Oh no. Uh, great. 
Ah, uh, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, this. Yeah, there's no defensive. <clears throat> okay, there you go. Yeah, that. Oh, yeah. He won't listen to you. Let's see. There you go. He won't listen. Okay, maybe he will listen. All right. Well, at least he... All right, that's one thing. I thought he won't listen to him. Ugh, break time. Oh. Start. Ah. Oh, that's why. Right. <clears throat> hmm. Ah, breath of fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, great. Wow. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, calm down, Saka. Oh, God. Okay, um. Yeah. Oh god. Oh my god, they're going to fail badly. This guy, he he oh my god. What the hell is that noise? Damn. Hmm. What is that noise? Oh, the what? What are these? The. Oh no! He he's going to find out a way. Boy, this is a dangerous mission. Yeah. And it's freaking cold. Like, you're gonna freeze to dread that. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen, but you know. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right.
Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa, what is the... <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, it's like the yin, yin and the yang. Those two fishes. <laughs> yeah. More, more. Hmm. All right, hopefully. Okay. Damn. Yeah, it's gold. There you go. <laughs> they really did become quiet. Mm. Oh, really? Ah! Oh. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> well, no. Thankfully, it's not scrubbing the barracks. <laughs> wow, and it's cold. Oh boy. Oh, it's. Oh god. Fire! Use a fire! Yeah. Oh boy. He's in. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It is looking like the yin and the yang, you know, like the fishes, the way they're, yeah, look, it's like there's, there's a spot as well, like, you know, the white spot and the black spot. There you go. Yeah. Hmm. No. Oh no, Zuko! Oh, great. All right. All right. Come on. Nice. And he's weak. Weak now, Zuko. Oh. Yeah, he's a lot weaker here. It's like home territory for. Katara. <clears throat> but he uses fire, so I think. Yeah, okay. Yep. He's a firebender, so. Oh. Oh no! No! Okay. Freeze. All right. And again. Oh. Wait, Katara's 
power is a little weakened because it's daytime now. So, where is Ang? Oh no! Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Great. So it has begun. Oh no. I think it's gone. Yeah. Oh no. They said something about him being unable to come back. It's... Yeah. If his, his body is displayed. Displaced. Damn. Oh boy. All right. Okay. Um That's the end. All right, a very simple episode. Uh no, nothing much to talk about because this is basically them starting the fight with the fire nation and <clears throat> okay a few new things first of all the guy we saw uh i forgot his name but the one who's engaged to ua uh, we saw him and he uh i won't say he is kind of like you know selfish in a way a little bit and as he was saying like you know he was uh all because of the prestige the no reputation because of that he was marrying princess ua and he was kind of boasting about it that in my opinion is a pretty bad thing to do because you know boasting like that and uh, obviously uh i don't know like he seems in the beginning he was kind of listening to soccer but after they got into that little scuffle he started to like you know do his own thing and you know like said that okay like i'll lead this and all that like you know stuff so yeah he he'll probably like lose in the beginning or something like the firebenders are coming in so i'm guessing he's going to fight with them uh with his army or not army but with his a few of the other water tribe members and he's probably like you know going to fail and i'm guessing like the only proper person who who's, will probably be able probably be able to stop the fire nation people uh, at least a few of them is paku and uh when maybe katara will join them as well uh, so yeah those two are probably the only strongest one here uh, katara and paku and otherwise uh on their side obviously zhao is there and i'm not sure if uh, commander iro will join the battle or not if he joins the battle, I think they're pretty screwed, you know, the water tribe members. So I'm not sure what will happen there. But <clears throat> yeah, and uh, all right. Saka is also here, but uh, Saka has the mission of protecting Princess Yue. So I don't think he will be able to join the battle you know in that way because obviously like if, if he tries to join the battle princess you you will be in danger and his his main goal here is to protect her from everything so he'll probably act as a bodyguard to her as a last line of defense or something and uh yeah that's pro that's that's the extent of this and i'm i'm not sure but i think uh princess you's dad is also probably a proficient waterbender so he'll also be able to kind of participate in the battle so yeah like it's not looking good uh, especially because as we saw like they have like you know the fire nation people they are accustomed to wars and battles so they know a lot of things a lot of experience they have you know extra experience warfare experience whereas the uh, you know water tribe member they have nothing like in the beginning we kind of saw the result of that because they have been like you know like at the beginning they sent one scout ship and it was like the start 
and then a lot of the ships came in like constantly hurling fireballs with the trebuchets and they like you know the water tribe members didn't even have any means of protecting themselves you know neither did they have any kind of cannon nor nothing like it, it was like only walls so that really shows that they have not been attacked that like you know neither been, they, they're not accustomed to war so even though like they're talented people even though there are definitely a lot of people who are strong that doesn't necessarily mean that they would be able to hold their ground in a in a war like uh, war time like you know from battle and normal battles are vastly different so i'm going i i like you know it'll probably be like this that they're definitely going to lose in a lot of ways because of lack of experience that's probably going to be the reason for their loss so like you know like and i'm thinking on the, probably the only person who would be able to save all of them is ang but we don't even know what's going to happen to him because zuko uh, uh, took him and he's still in the spirit world and they said something regarding that if his body is displaced while he's in the spirit world he won't be able to come back so that's another big problem how is he even going to come back unless and until like you know like i don't know so so in from the spirit world even if ang is able to get some kind of power from the spirits we don't know how he's going to come back here so yeah and even if he comes back he'll have to fight zuko after that so after like so this is going to be really a difficult situation he'll have to defeat zuko first then go back to the uh, like you know their place uh, the uh, water tribe and fight the war there uh, like you know defeats the zao and win the whole thing so it, it's looking pretty difficult you know everything's looking uh, very you know i don't know like chances are very low for the water tribe so who knows what's going to happen and uh, yeah what else oh and also we got the explanation of the moon being uh, you know related to the water bending power as like you know moon as the like, you know moon the gravitational pull of the moon uh, are the reason of uh, tides so that like you know that is kind of equating to water bending and yeah and that's why and obviously like uh, so here's like the thing that's happening uh, Z uh, zuko is a firebender and katara and all of them are water benders so technically he is supposed to be you know water beats fire or something like that uh, you know like kind of he's she's probably will be able to have an advantage over zuko but at the same time as i said like you know like uh, as he said that in 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 morning time he's pretty strong and like if you like you know like, it's not as simple as like water is able to defeat fire not as simple as that because if somehow fire becomes extremely hot know goes into huge high temperatures it can probably evaporate the water so in that way it, it's also some kind like you know it's not as simple so yeah this this is looking pretty bad uh like you know it's morning time all of them like here's the problem with a siege you know like as i said the siege here's the problem with a siege the people who are attacking they can like you know wait they can do whatever the hell they want to you know they can even go back they can retreat for a time again come back you know like like keep that going they can keep going but the people who are defending they are at a huge disadvantage here just as we saw you know like when it was the advantage of the water you know tribe when it was night they you know they just stopped doing anything they just stopped and they thought that okay let it become morning and we'll start again so it, it it's at their mercy they can do whatever the hell they want to and the um water tri tribe members are sitting ducks up until then so when they saw that okay it's morning time they started attacking and now the water vendors are weak so this is like one of the biggest disadvantage of the defending portion the you know, defending team of uh, during a siege and they don't even have proper defenses like, you know like siege means you need good defenses like you know uh i don't know like some kind of traps you know those those things like uh that you know that kind of stop the enemy from getting in 
you know huge doors huge strong doors uh, and everything like here the walls are made of ice they can just they can ram in uh, the eyes with the ship as they were doing and like you know the trebuchets can like can completely destroy the whole wall so like they are in no way well equipped for a siege so this is a mess this is a completely mess uh, everything is depending on katara and paku and i don't know how much they would be able to do even in like in this situation so yeah let's see let's get to the next episode uh, this was episode number nine yeah episode number 19 of after the last airbender so just a sec let's get started with episode number 20 and this is the final episode of this season this book so yeah so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Hmm. Ah. Uh. <laughs> All right. Let's take this off. So I'm, I'm thinking, like, uh, will they be able to resolve this whole situation in this final episode? Like, I think there's a lot of things to resolve here. So let's see like this is the end of the season so i don't think this is going to continue in the next episode that is the next season there'll be something completely new so they need to resolve everything in this one single episode so uh, let's see hmm. Okay. The Siege of the North Part 2 And again Oh Yeah True like he's carrying Aang So and it's freaking cold out there Oh no more more Hmm. Damn. Okay, they have a clear tree. Oh, they there he is. All right, he's inside. Oh. Oh, what the hell? Moon and the ocean. Uh, yes. What the hell? Oh, all right. <laughs> what the hell? Um. Whoa. Oh no. What is that? Oh, it's Roku. Oh. Oh, run. Oh. Okay. Ah. Oh my god, the whole 
Dạ. Hmm. All right. Cool. Face dealer. Oh, damn, that's difficult for him. Yeah, no, don't make that face. Ang, okay, there you go. Completely poker face, neutral. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh, whoa, all right. Oh yeah, these things, they used that, those things before. Damn. Yeah, like this is it. Like they're very ill equipped for defense. Like they have freaking eyes walls. What are they, they even going to do? Oh no. All right. What? Wow! Oh. 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 Great. Iro is a uh, not Iro, sorry, Zhao. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Oh, boy. So the face dealers took, took the monkey's face or something, I, I'm guessing. That's why it has no face. Oh boy. Whoa. Yes. Mm, nice. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no expressions. Mm. Thank God for that. <laughs> like the snowstorm is literally helping us. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh. Tree la. Oh. Oh. Moon and the ocean. Okay, push and pull. Oh. What? Who? Who are they talking about? Oh, those two, the, the fishes. Oh, oh no, no, and God, oh boy, but will he be able to go back? Oh, <laughs> will he be able to go back? Like his body is somewhere else now. Okay. All right. They're kind of pushing them back in a way. Oh boy. All right, nice. Oh my God, a lot of them. Well, there you go. I like, he's definitely a lot, lot stronger than all the others. Okay. Oh no. Oh. Okay. What? Who was that monkey? Oh yes. No. Okay, you need to go back to your body. Okay. Okay, he's going back, I'm, I'm, I think. Okay, follow that. Oh, wait, that was it? I thought he wouldn't be able to go back. That was kind of sim fairly simple. Nice! Okay, use the air bending to cut off the rope or something, I don't know. Uh... And this will be, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of dark now, so I guess. Great Saka. Um, what about him? Yeah. Mm, no. Yeah. Well, he's bound by his duties, so. 
Can't blame him. Oh God. Wow. What the? Why is the moon red? Whoa, what's happening? Oh no. Oh God. What, what happened to the subtitles? What? Oh. Oh, really? Oh. So the moon's oh. You were. Okay, well. Oh, shut up, Zhao. Oh! Yeah, that's what you get! Oh no! Yeah. Well, he doesn't care. Yeah, you're messing with the spirits. The natural balance of... Oh. All right. Come on, Zhao. There you go. Good boy. Oh, great. This guy is a... Uh... What the hell is wrong with him? Wow, stupidity knows no bounds. This guy. Yin and the Yang together make a balance. It killed off the... Oh, great. What the... Oh, can he do something? Whoa! Whoa, what is that? Damn. Oh, now he's running away. Great. He needs to be taught a lesson. He really needs to be taught a lesson. Oh, God. What? 
Blue Space. Oh, du Yeah, says the guy who killed him, tried to kill him. Oh. What? Oh no! Oh no! Whoa, that happened so abruptly. Okay, what is this thing? Whoa! Oh, great. Okay, so that's... I'm guessing the power of the spirit. And they're turning tail and running away. Oh, God. Oh, no, she vanished. Oh, what the? Okay. Oh, come on. Nice. Let's go. Ah. Yeah. Moon Slayer. What now? He's too prideful to do that, I think. He won't. Yeah. And there he goes. So Zhao was like the primary antagonist of this season, I I'm guessing. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Wait, brother? Oh, is this a sister? 
Oh, she's probably going to be. We're going to see her in the next season. Okay, that's the end. Oh, so th that means this girl. Um, I I'm guessing this is um Zuko's sister. She's going to take Zhao's <laughs> Zhao's place now <laughs> in the next season. I'm guessing, most probably. No, she'll probably be the main enemy, the main antagonist, or something. And uh, yeah, all right. So, so yeah, that was it. That was uh, the final episode of this season, book uh, book one. This was episode number twenty. And uh, I I really was not. I thought they would probably like keep something from the next season uh, because I did not expect them to like you know wrap everything up in this way. Uh, because it seemed you know in the previous episode it seemed like everything would probably take a lot of time to be. Uh, you know resolved the whole situation uh, you know so many of the firebenders are coming and like you know there's so little of them and ang was taken all that stuff but it, it like you know it ended in a really in a good way like it wrapped everything up pretty nicely and uh you know ang uh not ang sorry uh, the fire nation people had to go away had to run away and uh, yeah so <clears throat> all right this episode so first of all, Ang goes to the spirit world. Now, I'm not sure if it had some kind of symbolic meaning or something. What was that was a monkey, wasn't it? In the beginning that we saw, who was that? You know, who, who was kind of like you know acting as if he was meditating and kind of like you know looking at them in one eye. <laughs> and in the end, the the the. Uh, Roku's spirit, uh, the panda, it kind of, uh, what was the name of the panda? I forgot. It was something with, by something like that. Anyways, uh, it kind of like, you know, did something to the monkey thing and it, it vanished or something happened. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, may, maybe there was, was that some kind of symbolism or something? I'm not sure. So if you guys knows, know anything about that, please let me know. Uh, I'm kind of confused about that. Or is it something that we'll get to know in the future? If, if it's some kind of spoilerish, no need to tell me. But if it's not in any spoiler territory, you can uh, like, please let me know who was that. And you know, like anything regarding him. Anyways, okay, so yeah, uh, get, it gets to the spirit world. And Roku tells him who you know, the spirits actually are, the ocean spirit and the moon spirit. So that he can come back. Uh, and okay, now I was under the like I thought that okay, like they have displaced their body as Katara said, like unless and until the body is displayed, everything will be fine. I thought it will lead to a lot of complications, but thankfully there was nothing much happened because of that. It was basically that you know he he came back in the same place, but his body was not there. So he was his spirit was in and wasn't able to get there. But obviously the body is alive. So I think. I'm not sure where, but I think I've heard this before. Like, you know, like your body always attract your soul, or something like that. You know, like so. I'm guessing when Ang came as a spirit form and he saw his body was not there, his body like at that moment started attracting attracting him, and his soul just flew out and went into his body. And thankfully, that was seen by Katara, and Katara and all of them were able to come and help. Ang, because I doubt Ang would be able to do anything there because he was like, you know tied up and uh, like, you know, he would probably not be able to do anything Zuko would probably have him like, you know like not let him get away so thankfully Katara and uh, Saka were there and Zuko was tired like like who can even blame him like, he, he did so much things he just you know like he carried Ang the whole, the whole like you know journey like before that his uh, Zhao tried to kill him and like all the exhaustion all the everything like kind of made him unable to fight back as you know Katara came in and just used her uh, ice bending or water bending to stop him yeah and obviously like like all of us knew that Ang won't let him like you know won't leave him there and, oh, I forgot to talk about another thing. Uh, the uh, what was the name? Uh, the space dealer, the cow. Who? 
spoon or cow? What was the name? Just a sec. Just a sec. I'm trying to find it. Face dealer. Go. Okay, go. Oh, I, I completely forgot to talk about him. All right, go. So, so go and uh, Af, uh, Ang's ancestor has something, and he said something regarding that he, you know, uh, the after the previous uh, incarnation of him, uh, he they like he tried to kill him because he stole the face of most probably someone beloved to him. Uh, who knows? Maybe sister, wife mother someone i'm guessing uh you know like uh, stole the face and that's why like you know he, he tried to kill him so yeah I'm, I'm guessing this has some kind of a past and maybe we're going to get to see it later on or maybe not but yeah and uh he tried a lot <laughs> to <laughs> change ang's expression unfortunately he was unable to do anything and it, it's like you know it's funny to see that all, all you know whenever these type of things are involved uh the the, the character who is doing this usually do not you know physically uh, interact with that person for example here he tried a lot to actually change ang's expression but never did he touch ang at all you know he did not physically interfere with him he just tried to make him change his face uh you know like show some expression using jump scares basically <laughs> that was what he was doing and uh, like you know and in the end like i'm sure like he, he was waiting for that like you know like in the end when he actually says that you know them you know the no you already know the two spirits which are um <laughs> which are the the two fishes when he said that and <laughs> i'm sure he was waiting for that and when Ang realized who it was, his expression changed. <laughs> Kuhn looked at him at that moment, but unfortunately, he, I'm guessing, Ang quickly you know, put on his poker face again, so nothing happened. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, all right, and then in the next portion, we, uh, okay, and then the whole thing happens with uh, the Fire Nation coming in, um, Zhao coming in, with uh Iro and the fight happens Z uh, Zhao comes to the fishes and captures one of them <sighs> oh great now here's the thing like I, I really don't know what to feel about Zhao he he's annoying first of all I'm not sure like you know maybe usually in these type of characters have some kind of a backstory i'm not even sure if he has something you know but uh, like you know everything we know up until now none of it none of it like you know made any of us kind of sympathize for him none of it so as i said like you know usually these type of characters have some kind of backstory which kind of make them like you know like in the end which we realize and we kind of feel bad for that person but nothing that that sort we saw here, so I'm not sure what to feel about him. But from all of the episodes that we have seen up until now, Zhao, yeah, Zhao, Zhao is not at all in any way likable. Again, I'm saying like I I don't know, like, you know, I'm I'm not sure what happened to his past, whether some kind of thing happened which made him the person he is now. So everything I'm talking about is from these twenty episodes. So, you know, and uh, now what Zhao does here is he takes the fish and he's kind of boasting, yeah, I'll be the moon slayer, what the hell, whatever the hell he was yammer yammering about at that moment. <laughs> and then they come in, Iro comes in and Iro warns him that if you try to do anything, like everything will go into chaos. Now, obviously, like, like I get it. Oh, okay. Like he he's the enemy faction i know that he is supposed to destroy like you know you know kill the avatar or like you know capture him whatever he's supposed to do that but he should not like you know mess with the natural balance of nature like that's something that he should not do uh, unfortunately he 
he did not listen by the end of it so like what he basically does is the yin and the yang as they said you know uh okay i think yin is the white portion just a sec let me double check uh yin and the yang okay yin is the black side and yang is the white side oh oh so we say oh i thought it was the opposite all right so if we say okay yin and yang all right yin is the black side yang is the white side now i i kind of know what this symbolizes i'm, I'm not sure but correct me if i'm wrong uh, the whole symbol of yin and yang you know there's this like you know the, the white portion and the black portion and in the white portion there's a little black dot and in the black portion there's a little white dot now what that symbolizes as far as i know is that even in like you know the the good part of the like you know of our uh, has a dark side which is denoted by that dark spot in in the yang and in the yin it, however bad someone is there's always a good portion and that is symbolized by that white portion portion uh, as i said like i might be wrong please correct me if i am like you know mistaken about something so that's basically yin and the yang so what he does is he takes the yang and he like in the, in the beginning he like you know he tries to punch it or whatever the hell he was trying to do and ang stops him Iro comes in and says that don't you dare do it because that will completely like you know mess with the equilibrium of our nature it, it will be disastrous for each and every life on earth and he still doesn't listen like you know like uh he releases it and then freaking burns it i don't know what it, like like how much of a oh great like, like his obsession towards becoming the moon slayer became so much that uh, like his pride and everything made him do that basically like if he would have just sit down and thought about that like you know his uh, the actions of uh, uh, the consequences of his action i'm sure he would have realized that he should not have done it but like who listens to like you know like he, he just does what he wants and he like kills the um uh yang portion of the fish uh the, the white fish now so he basically destroys the good portion and the dark portion is left so obviously like everything like you know the yin and the yang denotes balance so if you take off one portion be it good or be it bad whichever portion you take off things will kind of become very bad no, it will it, like the normal equilibrium will completely got get messed up even if you take the bad portion away you know all good will also kind of mess up the normal you know the equilibrium so neither is good everything is needed as they say like you know so like and now uh, then then one thing happens i'm not sure was i think that was probably the reason uh like you know uh, ang kind of went in and take the fruit the form of that huge spirit thing like correct me if i'm wrong i think uh killing the fish was the reason for that i'm guessing because when like you know you sacrificed herself and returned back to his normal form so i think that was the reason uh for him like you know taking that spirit form i don't know but anyways yeah that happens and you know like you wrote <laughs> you was probably going to destroy him then and there but he kind of you know ran away in that moment ang became the huge spirit and us sacrificed her life we got to also got to learn about us backstory okay uh does ua mean moon let me see it says something about the meaning ua mean ua meaning the name us primarily a general oh it's chinese origin that means moon okay all right okay so it means more so yeah as i was saying so you we get to see uh, you know us backstory and uh you know his her connection with the moon all that stuff <clears throat> and she says like you know she obviously she has to sacrifice herself here otherwise the the, the world probably would have been destroyed 
So I don't know what would have happened, how much consequence it would actually have, you know, in in the world. But it it would have been disastrous. So yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> U.S. sacrifices herself, and it's a sad story, like you know, Saka and U.S. story. Unfortunately, like ah. Uh, anyways. Yeah, and then uh, Zhao and uh, Zhao versus Zuko happens, and Zuko completely like you know owns him, defeats him, and the uh, remaining part of the spirit comes back and captures Zuko. I think uh, just a sec, let me check what happened there for a moment there. You know, like Zuko defeats. Yeah, Zuko defeats Zhao. And the, the, I think the remaining portion of the spirit came and took Zhao, captured Zhao, most probably because Zhao is the one who actually killed the fish. You know, so even after Aang came back, you know, uh, became, came to his original form and the moon was restored, I think it came and like, you know, captured Zhao and you know, took him down into the water. And Obviously, like Zuko tried, like you know, to give his hand and take him out of that. But Zhao, being prideful as he is, and yeah, he he did not take the hand. So that's why, as I was saying, I'm a bit conflicted to what to feel about Zhao. But yeah, like the way he was kind of depicted, he is really not likable. But as I said, like, you know, people have their own problems, their own situations, their own pasts. So unless and until you get to know the full story, you should not judge someone. But still, you know, all these wise, all these 20 episodes, the way you, Zhao was depicted in this story is not good at all. He, he was very unlikable. But anyways. <clears throat> yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm not even sure what happened to Zhao. Who knows? Uh, I'm guessing... He, he died there I'm not sure or maybe we'll get to see him later on most probably we won't because this this kind of like seems like the end of Zhao so I think that's probably it uh, yeah and uh, okay and then uh, everything like you know all the financial people go back um, well, what was the name Paku yeah Paku tells that he, so Paku and all of them will go to the south southern tribe and you know like they'll kind of meet up and like start building the defenses or whatever together i'm guessing and that's going to happen and another thing that is going to like obviously like ang qatar they won't be able to go accompany them to the south pole because they have other things to do they must go to the earth tribe now i think yeah earth tribe so they'll have to go to the earth tribe to learn earth bending now and <clears throat> that's what they're going to do but uh, Ang obviously Ang is still not proficient enough in water bending, but Katara has mastered it, so Katara can teach him on the way, and uh, yeah, they can like continue their journey to the Earth Kingdom. I'm guessing it will be something similar to this season, you know, where they're kind of going to go in on the whole journey. The journey will be shown, and in the middle of the journey, Ang is probably going to master water bending, and then by the end, like you know. Seven, I like guess, six or five episodes. In the end, five, six episodes, we're probably going to reach the Earth Kingdom and, you know, learn Earth Bending or something. I don't know, something like that, or maybe not, or maybe I'm, I'm guessing it won't have take that long this time because, uh, like they had to go from South Pole to North Pole. That's huge distance, so that's why it took so much time. But I'm guessing the Earth Kingdom is a, a lot closer. Just a sec, let me check the map first. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, the, the Earth Kingdom is just nearby. Yeah, it's very close. So I, I, okay, so maybe the journey won't be big this time. Maybe we're going to reach for, uh, Earth Nation really quickly. Let's see, let's see. The next episode will show us most probably. Yeah, and uh, okay, so now all that is okay. Another thing that I'm, that I'm kind of thinking about, what will happen to Z uh, Iro and Zuko now? You know, like the dad said that, uh, like they're traitors. Like he said something about Iro being a traitor. We still don't know anything about 
uh, Zuko, what his decision on Zuko is. But I'm guessing, like, you know, the kind of they'll be treated, he'll be treated as a traitor at the same time. So, and like, you know, he's kind of uh, appointing Zuko's sister. I'm guessing that's Zuko's sister, most probably. Zuko's sister. So, I'm wondering, like, so what are they going to do? Like, Iro and Zuko. Like, if, if they try to go back to the Fire Nation, they'll be hunted down. So, maybe they're going to join us? I don't know. Like, I, I always had this feeling that probably Zuko is going to join us sooner or later. Maybe he really is going to join us. Because he, he's being hunted down by his own family now. Like, what will he even do? Like, even if he captures Aftar, he, he'll be, like, hunted down by his own people. Let's wait for it. I'm sure we'll get our answers. Yeah. All right. That's it, guys. So that was episode number 20 uh, of After the Last Urban, the final episode of this season, or book one, as they call it. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let, to m let me know. I'll, I'll definitely check them out. So yeah guys thank you guys for watching next week i'm going to start book two of after the last airbender so see you guys then so until then goodbye and have a nice day